What's up, you guys? This is Devin with Century Effects Studios TV, back with another video. And today we're going to be talking about the four main ways that I extend battery life for my mirrorless or DSLR camera. Now, for those of you who don't know, this is the Canon EOS R5 Mark I. And just like every mirrorless camera and DSLR before it, one of the biggest issues with these cameras is recording for long periods of time because these cameras were mainly designed for taking pictures they ended up using video when it became popular with the 5d mark ii and other cameras like that but at the end of the day they still suffer from the same issues when it comes to video which means that they can't record for long periods of time over an hour hour and a half two hours you're dead in the water because you got to pull out the battery and get everything else situated and then re-hit the record button on top of the fact that it has a video record limit for most of these cameras but in the grand scheme of things today we're talking about the battery life and ways you can improve the battery life and if not have battery life for as long as you possibly need it maybe even one day or two with the battery life that you can get out of these situations the first one i want to talk about here is the ac dummy battery attachment so when i say ac i'm talking about alternating current so you see here you can plug this one into like a wall you know and get as much power out of the wall as you possibly can unless your power goes out this thing is pretty much rocking with you it has um a little blue light on this side here and it tells you when you have power on this little you know this little compartment here and then you, of course you have your dummy battery give me a second here you have your LPE6 dummy battery and I'm pretty sure there is a version of this for like Sony, Nikon, Panasonic and any other camera that you might have but I have Canon cameras and I typically record with Canon cameras so that's what I have today there's also a version like this. It doesn't have any kind of like little wart on it or extra little pull off part. It's just the dummy battery straight into the USB. So you're going to have to have some kind of USB power bank to run this one. But it works. It's just not my favorite one because it doesn't have that extra piece right there that tells me it's regulating power correctly. So no telling when my camera might cut off because the power is not going right. But everything seems to be fine when you have a really good power adapter hooked up to this. But just don't unplug it while you're recording because you can mess up your video. Again, I am not responsible for anybody who gets corrupted video because the cables came out or anything like that. So be very, very careful and make sure you hit that record button on and hit the record button off when you're using these things. This one is, of course, this is a power, you know, anchor power adapter or whatever. But this part right here is the one I was talking about where it has the extra little piece right here. And then it has the uh, dummy battery here. You can plug it directly in USB here, but more than anything, it also has this little part right here where you can take this part off and then exchange it for other things. I never do that with this. I just cable tie it together so it never comes apart. So I never worry about corrupting any video while I'm recording. The last thing you want to do is corrupt video while you're recording and have th that's that's the terrible feeling because you've been recording for like three hours because that's the reason why you bought this stuff. And then come to find out you accidentally somebody accidentally kicked it out or anything like that. Tape this stuff down. Make sure nobody kicks anything out and make sure you press the record button on and get a chance to press the record button off so your camera gets a chance to write it because you if you pull out the only power source that it's, it's pulling power from that's a major issue it's a difference when your camera runs out of battery power and your um your camera knows it and your camera can prepare for it then one of these things getting pulled out because your camera can't prepare for anything it can't write the file you know because your battery went dead because you just lost all the power not just your battery going dead and this is my favorite one right here. This is the USB power delivery. So this one is different from this one. This one has power delivery over USB-C. So this is a uh, NEU, INIU. This one plugs directly into my R5. You don't have to use a dummy battery, which is the best part about this. You have 140, you have a slot for 45 watts, and you have a slot for 18 watts. And you use the 140 watt and then plug it via USB-C power direct into your camera. And this charges your battery within your camera. So if this one right here, this whole combination with the power cord and the or the USB power cord and the power delivery power bank, if these two go out while you're filming, it'll just relay back to your battery. It'll just go right to your battery. It won't shut off or anything like that. So you can keep recording. So if I'm shooting like with this camera I'm shooting on right now, the R6 Mark II, which doesn't have a video limit on the time that it can record, I can record as long as this power and my memory is going. Nothing ever stops it, which is amazing to me. 
Now this USB cable here, this one is unique. Um, it carries 240 watts, I think, of power. Um, you have to make sure that you get the one that works well with this unit and also the camera. This is the same brand, NEU. Um, I'll have all the links in the description below, but this is the NEU USB-C 240 power, USB to USB-C um, power uh, 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 cable here. If you're doing like a church sermon or any kind of event where you can sit in one spot and man one camera, this is the perfect setup for it. Never had any issues with this. You just wanna make sure, make triple, double, sure, uh, quadruple sure that this does not get unplugged before you hit that record button on and hit the record button off. So that means record your thing, cut the camera off with the record button and then cut the camera off with the off switch and then pull this out. And the reason why I say that is because the camera does something unique with the power that is not telling you when it's not being powered and it's not telling you when it's on and it's not telling you when it's writing and it's not telling you when it's it is writing. So what you wanna do is you wanna make sure that you do not cut off that process because you will get a corrupt file. So make sure this is the last thing you pull when you're breaking down. Make sure you hit the record button on and you hit the record button off and then you cut off the device before you pull this plug because I don't no, look I'm not responsible guys <laughs> you guys use this at your own risk and also know that the Canon R5 by itself this camera is one of the most sensitive cameras when it comes to you know using external sources of power it will eat a third-party battery for lunch <laughs> not only that the third-party batteries that you put in the R5 Mark II don't even work so the second version of this camera eats all batteries. You can't even use it unless there's a real battery coming from Canon. This one is okay if you wanna, you know, um, it's just, you gotta watch this one too because you wanna make sure this cable doesn't come out. But you can use this for the same situation. You can even use this on a gimbal because the ca cable is so short. Um, but you wanna make sure this is, you know, plugged into your, um, your USB power bank. It could be a power delivery or a one without a power delivery uh, section. You just got to make sure that it, you know, the, 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 it works with your camera and the camera doesn't spit it out. Sometimes the R5 will reject this combination. So watch out. You're going to have to have one with enough power to run through here and then this cable doesn't give mixed systems to your R5. Same thing with this one. This one does pretty much the same thing that all three of these do. They just work better in certain situations. This one works when you can sit down and have the camera on a tripod. It kind of doesn't work any other way. This setup is the best setup because you can put it pretty much anywhere. And even if it gets unplugged, you can just plug it back up as long as you're watching the camera and the battery signal. The battery signal will go gray when you're using power delivery and if you have the battery cut off when this is plugged in it'll actually charge your battery and the battery buffer signal will, will illuminate green instead of red isn't that so cool i love this one this one's the best one i would advise this one but this does not work with dslrs and other cameras that do not have usb c power delivery so very, be very 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 aware of what you're doing all right, guys, I just wanted to show you guys all the four ways that I charge my camera up and power it for extended battery life. Um, when I'm pretty much doing video, now you can get a battery grip and put it on the bottom of this. If you're doing photography and you need the battery to be there, you could also potentially use this for photography. I wouldn't unless I had a surefire way to know that this wasn't going to fall off or fall out or anything like that. But typically when you're doing photography, you can easily slide the battery out and slide another one in and not really miss much of the action as long as you're, you know, pacing yourself. I'm Devin with Century FX Studios TV. Thanks for watching this video and stay tuned for the next videos. Please, I cannot stress this enough. Please <laughs> plug this into the wall and make sure you cut off your camera and, 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 and finish recording before even touching this. This is the last thing you touch because you don't want any corrupt videos. All right, stay tuned for the next video.